Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go through an example of finding cross price elasticity of demand using what's known as the ARC or midpoint formula method. So just as a short introduction, our cross price elasticity of demand will measure the responsiveness of the demand for one good, let's call that good A, to a change in the price of another good, let's call that good B. The ARC or midpoint formula is appropriate when the changes are discrete in nature. So I've actually just rewritten the formula here. So epsilon x is our cross price elasticity of demand. So we have the two goods, good A and good B. And in our formula, we're going to take the discrete change in the quantity demanded of good A. We divide it by the change in the price of good B. Then we multiply that fraction by the midpoint of the price change of good B divided by the midpoint of the quantity change of good A. So I won't go through the derivation of this formula here, but if you would like to see that in another video, please leave a comment below uh, and I can do that. Just as an example of using this formula though, let's imagine that the price of peaches increases from say 10 to $15. And as a result of this price change, the quantity demanded of mangoes increases from 20 to 30. And we can see straight away, if we want to apply the formula that I went through above, mangoes will be the good that's associated with the quantity change, so that's good A. And peaches will be good B because the price of peaches is changing. Now, when I'm given elasticity problems like this, I just like to find each individual part of our formula first and then join it all together at the end. So let's start by thinking about the change in the quantity of good A, so that's our mangoes. Now the change in quantity is equal to, we just take the new value minus the old, so that's 30 minus 20, so that's 10. The change in the price of good B, so that's the price of peaches, it goes from 10 to 15, so 15 minus 10 is 5. In terms of our midpoints, we're just going to take the middle number between the upper and lower limits of our discrete changes. So the midpoint of the price change, you might be able to automatically see uh, that it's 12.5. So the middle number between 10 and 15. If you can't see it automatically, you just need to take the average. So we say 10 plus 15 divided by two. Uh, so that's 25 over two, which is 12.5. Same with the midpoint of the quantity demanded change. You can possibly see automatically that we go from 20 to 30, so the midpoint is 25. If you can't see that, just take the average. So 20 plus 30 over two, 20 plus 30 is 50 over two is 25. So now we have all of our parts of our cross price elasticity of demand. So we just substitute everything in. I'll do it down here. And I've replicated our formula just with the words peaches and mangoes instead of A and B. So we have the change in the quantity of mangoes, which is 10, divided by the change in the price of peaches, that's five. We multiply this by the midpoint of the price change of peaches, so that's 12.5 and we divide that by the midpoint of the quantity change, uh, 25. Now just solving this, we get 10 times 12.5 is 125. Five times 25 is also 125. So we actually end up with a cross price elasticity of demand equal to one. And we can actually interpret this as for a 1% increase in the price of peaches, the quantity of mangoes demanded increases by 1%. Now this value actually indicates that peaches and mangoes are what we call substitutes because it's positive and a positive cross price elasticity indicates that our goods are substitutes. Now there are a few things that I didn't cover in this video. For instance, as I said before, I didn't cover the derivation of the formula and I also didn't cover explicitly the link between cross price elasticity of demand and our designation of our goods as substitutes or complements. So if you would like to see videos on any of these things, please let me know below and I'll put it on my list of things to do. I hope that the video helped anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing really well. Have a lovely day or night.